What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at my man. My man, Rashford, is coming in at an 88 left mid. And it is such a shame that they've not given him that 5-5. Honestly, it's going to have to be waiting until for birthday if they do it. Because Rashford with a 5-5 is nuts. I still think this card's going to be incredible. But I feel like it was going to be one of the best left mids you could get as a 5-5-88. We are going to be playing him up front. I feel like that is just the, the most kind of beneficial position you can get from Rashford personally. After using many of his cards throughout the years, he is an absolute gem when it comes to Prem. And everybody loves his upgrades. He's never really started the game with a massive, massive card. And obviously being out for the season, or at least a lot of the season um, to start with, then he's, he's going to need a little bit more to get team of the season but i think he's come back strong definitely come back with a bang hopefully we can see him really flourish because i'd love to see a team of the season rashi again he is obviously 6-1 with a high medium right foot and he has got team player flair and power free kick shot no unfortunate uh, finesse or outside of the foot and the stats look lovely obviously who we've bought him from has kind of given him um, a hunter already which will obviously give you 99 pace and it'll also give you 93 shooting turn you into a 90 strong striker left wing or 91 left forward very very nice in terms of what people else are looking for they're going for the finisher and i think i can kind of agree with that because obviously you're maxing out as much agility and balance as you can obviously the dribbling goes up to 99 and you also get 99 finishing and shot power we will try the the hunter to start with i don't think it's really needed because as you can see you do get the big bonus of the acceleration but you only need a plus four on the sprint speed i think that's just an absolute waste of a five card, a 5k card so we will probably put a finisher on him in the second match but I'm just interested to get started with this one. I wanted to do him yesterday, but his price was fluctuating a little bit too much in my likings. We've managed to get him at 7.05. He's currently sitting at 7.20, but I'm pretty sure I'd probably only be able to get him gone for 7.05 to 7.10. So let's jump into him, see what he's all about, because I think everything looks absolutely spot on. I'm just interested in how that strength and aggression goes. But... Like I say, let me know down below what you think about the card. Also, what is the best packed card you have got so far? Tradable. Not untradable. What is the best, the most valued card you have got? Tradable. Let me know down below. And if you are enjoying this content, as always, a little like button never hurts. And if you want to subscribe for more, the big red button's just there. Rashford on the ball then. Let's see what we can get from this guy. I am... I love any sort of Man U card that we get, especially when it is somebody like Rashford. Ronaldo is absolutely fantastic, but... It's just, it's so hard to get him and not lose loads of coins. It's its nice to have somebody who, yeah, I guess, I suppose is, again, very expensive, but he is not over a million coins. And to be honest, he's not had a special card in, it seems, ages. None of the man you lot have. So it is going to be fantastic to give him a go if we can get the ball out of this defense, get it straight up to him. I'm hoping that pace is going to be absolutely used to its max here. As we see him just skipping past people, can we get a big cross in? Nah, that, that, that was poor from myself. Bad judgment. Here we go. Bit of Rashford. Lovely dribbling. Goes in, and it's always going to be bagged. Beautiful stuff. Rashford's making the move again. Just going to tuck it into him. Little one-two. Finds him. Oh, okay. The keeper's out of net. Fair enough. Rashford's looking for that one-two. It's gone over the top. Up oh, the keeper again. Fair enough. Hopefully he leaves now. I don't understand why you even play this far in. He's continuing to play. And Antonio's going to go in the way as well. Light work. Rashford just showing what he can do in terms of passing. And because he definitely wasn't. He was still playing until we got through on goal. Back into Rashford then. We can see the pace on him. Just beautiful down this wing. And to be honest, I think striker definitely suits him better. But I think he definitely could play both. Rashi. Lovely turn in. He's going to feed in a bit of Madison, who's going to look for it back to him. Finds it. Gets the first touch. Goes for that right foot. Wanted the left just straight across goal. And that's where the five star would really come in handy. That's a solid ball. And he volleys it. Oh, and it's not powerful enough. Rashford takes it away. Goes for that chip. And has he? Oh, it's off the post. He is getting very unfortunate. Scores a couple to start with, and now he can only hit the post. Oh, there it is. Got to be through the legs, and it's a goal. Rashford finds it. Is Rashford through? It's just touched a little bit too hard. I thought he may have been able to uh, to get to it. 
Foden's going to find it back, though. Rashford into it. Going to cut back. Going to go for that finesse. And that is where I want the trait. It would be nice if we had an option to, to get these traits or they could be increased onto them. Because, obviously, I think once they're kind of set into the game, there is no add-in taken away. Obviously, we still see Messi with a one-club one. I feel like they've literally just kind of left them to it. So, it would be nice if like we got an increase. Maybe that was kind of the, the benefit we got from a special card. We got the finesse trait, the, the outside of the foot. Maybe even add a couple more into it. It'd be very interesting to do that. Oh, Joe Cole running an absolute riot here. What on earth is going on? But we managed to find it with Madison somehow. The pace on Rashford is phenomenal. Oh, and what on earth is that? Was going I know Joe Cole probably was offside by the time we pressed Y, but the pace increase, the acceleration from Rashford is definitely noticeable. It's absolutely solid. Like, which we would put it into his feet. Okay, maybe not. We put it into his feet and let him get tackled. Sell him right out. But if we put it into his feet here, we just see the, the complete increase we can see in that, that, that run straight off the bat is something that you won't see in many players. Rashford here, and he bags the goal, honestly. And again, I'm just going to get that pace just absolutely pulls through. There's a red card, more than likely a, a left match, or he's going to leave before we can take this free kick. So we'll just kind of drum it out. We're going to be trying it with Rashford if we can. I'm hoping he kind of moves the keeper, to be honest, but... Doesn't look like it's going to happen. You reckon we can go top bins? Can we? That's the question. Rashford steps up. Looking looking a bit lean. What on earth is that? That's the free kick accuracy coming out. Little dink into Rashford. He's not going to be able to beat the keeper, unfortunately. Rashi. Rashi. Oh, and it's even a chip. You love to see it. And I think that is enough for one day. So going into the overall for Rashford then. What a player. Honestly, he is exceptional. The acceleration is incredible. Obviously, the guy did put the hunter on, which, to be honest, did quite well. I would still probably go with the finisher just to max out what you can. Um, I feel like the acceleration is still going to be incredible regardless, but that is something you really notice the difference with, with. He was very, very quick. Holds the ball up really nicely. His strength-wise, I didn't think was too much of an issue because I think his pace was actually that good that you just couldn't necessarily catch him that easy. He did have to kind of really put it on him to, to be able to kind of outbattle him. Obviously, if we do go against up the, the top, top of the defenders, maybe there's a different story. But for me, finishing-wise was fantastic. Dribbling was lovely. For somebody who's 6'1", very almost Ronaldo-esque. Like, he has that sort of... FIFA card in him. He's quick. He's got a little bit of strength. Ronaldo obviously has a bit more physicality than him. Heading-wise, not as much, but the dribbling side of stuff was quite good. Obviously, the five-star skills is already there, and then he has a bit of passing, and the shooting is phenomenal. The only thing that he's missing for me is that five-star, five-star. That is genuinely the Rashford we're all looking for. It is exactly the same as we got with this card. Absolutely incredible stuff. Obviously, a big, big upgrade, but Rashford hopefully can continue his form going back into into football and really kind of show off what we can get because i would love a red rashford i know it won't be as high rated as this card but it would be it would be phenomenal he is obviously for me going to be a 10 out of 10 um i, I genuinely like this card even without being a manchester united um player he is just brilliant and i think everybody can agree with that man you at the moment have a very few selection of players that people would want in their main team I think Rashford's definitely one of them. And I think realistically, if we are looking at it, we're looking at Ronaldo, Bruno, Rashford. I think, and Varane, obviously. There, to be honest, there may be Fred, but to be honest, there, there is so many cards that I think that is, uh, you could argue if and when with that one. But I think Varane, Rashford, Ronaldo, Bruno are all players that you could get in your main team. And as you can see, the lack of specials is abysmal, most definitely abysmal. Um, obviously, one to watches don't really count. They're just transfers. But we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five cards, five specials in, what, two, three months now? Or disappoint is to say the least, but we want an inform. Hopefully Rashford can continue, obviously, his run of constantly getting specials throughout the game and really kind of step up the mark again. We want to get him in team of the season. Whether that's going to happen is very, very questionable at the moment. But again, we haven't got half the season out of the way yet. So let's see how we go with that. This Rashford is definitely worth every, every penny you can get. 
I would hold out and wait because I personally think that, yes, he is probably worth 700k. I feel like he's still got some kind of uh, down, kind of uh, going down sort of um, time yet. I don't think he's going to settle at 700. I could probably see about 6 to 650. But again, I'm just throwing numbers out here. I don't think he can stay at 700 with all of the rewards, with all of the packs that are going to be opened. Plus then upgrades. I know he's going to be one of the harder ones to get. But people are still going to pack him. So it'd be interesting to see. I would definitely give yourself a little wait. And make sure you kind of pick him up before he goes out of packs. Or depending on if you know what the ice version is. Depending on which one you want to prefer. Then obviously that is a big factor as well. But overall 10 out of 10 for me. Let me know down below if you've used Rashford. Or you've got any other players that you'd like me to have a look at. In terms of the fire foot. And we will uh, kind of go through them as quick as possible. But apart from that. Like, subscribe. And i catch you all for the next one. Peace.